This is the Aim Vice. It's one of the cheapest mouse and keyboard adapters that you can buy. Starting at the price point of 20 bucks, this adapter offers the same experience as a higher end adapter, but at a cheaper cost. You may be asking, what do you get with a $20 adapter? Well, you get the box with the adapter and a USB type C cable. Of course, a user manual, can't forget that. The overall build quality on this adapter itself is actually pretty good. I was kind of surprised for an adapter being 20 bucks to feel more like a premium product. You have a controller port on the front of the adapter next to the LED indicator. On the back side of the adapter, you have two USB ports, one for your mouse and one for your keyboard. On the right hand side, you have a USB type C to connect it to your console. You also have a reset button located on the top left of the adapter itself. Make sure you have everything plugged in before plugging the adapter into the console. Once you have checked that you have everything plugged into the adapter, go ahead and plug the adapter into the console and it should automatically detect what system you're on. This adapter is also compatible with every generation of Xbox that's been produced and PlayStation. It's also compatible with a Nintendo Switch. Now, let's get into how to adjust your settings. I'm not going to get into too much detail of how to adjust your settings, just the basics. If you're looking to up your sense on your mouse, go ahead and hold down the control key on your keyboard and scroll up on your mouse wheel. Scrolling up on your mouse wheel will increase your sensitivity and scrolling down will decrease your mouse sensitivity as well. For more fine tuning your mouse sensitivity, there's also a curvature adjustment. To increase your curvature, hold down the shift key and scroll up. And to decrease the curvature, hold down the shift key and scroll down. Now let's move over to the keyboard. To make a custom key, press Control plus escape on your keyboard to enter key mapping mode. Once you have done that, then go ahead and press the key on your controller that you'd like to set on your keyboard or mouse. Make sure you hold down the key when doing this, then go ahead and press the key you would like to map to your keyboard. Once you have done that, go ahead and release the key. Then to save your settings, go ahead and press control and escape again. Moving over to the turbo functionality of this adapter, all you have to do is press F4 to turn it on or off. Now you got everything set up to your liking, let's move over to how the adapter actually performs in games. Starting off with the elephant in the room, Rainbow Six Siege. I found that this is probably one of the most played games with mouse and keyboard besides Rust on console. I also like to mention that I tested this adapter when Mousetrap was released and this adapter was just fine and has not been detected by Mousetrap at any point. Its overall performance in Rainbow Six Siege is very good. I honestly was surprised how good it was for being a 20 buck adapter. Most keyboard and mouse adapters around this price point aren't the greatest, but the aim vice is absolutely fantastic. Moving over to the rest of the testing. This adapter pretty much performs the same in all the games. It definitely performs above its weight class. I would like to mention all the games that I tried as well, just so everyone knows what it works with. The games I tested were Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Rust, and Insurgency Sandstorms. I think Insurgency Sandstorms is a great game to do baseline testing with these mouse and keyboard adapters. Insurgency is a direct port from PC without all the extra stuff they add in for controller, such things as aim assist and uh, there's like a jitter and curve delay, I forget what the exact term is for it. But Insurgency overall is a great game to test these adapters. I seem to have the best experience with Insurgency with most adapters that I can't really fine tune in Rainbow. It also will take you a little bit of time to adjust everything to get your sense to your liking. But overall, this adapter is straightforward and easy to use. Now, here is my personal opinion about this adapter. It's absolutely fantastic for the price point. Probably the best thing you're going to get for 20 bucks. It's also more reliable than my Aimbox VX2 
that I've returned three times just for this damn thing breaking itself every time I go to make a video. But honestly, I think this is probably one of the best adapters you're going to get for the price point. It's also hasn't broke down and I've been using it for over a week doing this testing. I do want to mention that the company did send me this product for free. I did not pay for it and this is not a sponsored video. I know I'm putting it putting this at the end of the video, but I just didn't know really where to fit it in my script. But if you have any other questions, I do have a discord and the link will be in the bottom description of this video. Again, thank you for everyone who has watched this video. I hope you guys have a good one.